came to Grimsby in 70-71. Laurie McMenemy was appointed as uh, the new manager. And uh, I had about five seasons at Grimsby. And uh, I actually walked out of Grimsby when uh, Tom Casey was manager. I had a bit of a dispute with Tom Casey about uh, the contract that they were offering me. And uh, I didn't feel it was um, what I wanted. I asked him to help me as much as he could. And he kept on saying, yes, come back and see me the week after, week after. And then it turned out, he, he turned around in a meeting that I had with him in the office across the road there, that, uh, what do you expect the way you play? And I couldn't believe that. I thought, well, this is a chap that's on about retaining me. Mm. And um, his attitude, and I just, I just decided to walk there. And um, next minute, I was at Scunthorpe United. <laughs> to be honest, I went working on the bank, the Umber Bank, and uh, the money I was earning there was absolutely amazing. But uh, eventually, Ron Ashman taught myself. And um, at the time, I was in the process of getting married to Andrea, a local girl. And he, he actually got her to come across the day after. And. Uh, had discussions and I finally went to Scunthorpe. I think it was £6,000 at the time. Right. And then from there, uh, from Scunthorpe, ended up at Stockport, and then from Stockport went out to San Jose Earthquakes in America, Milan Mandrick, who's uh, Sheffield Wednesday's chairman. I went out with him and uh, Bill Folks was the manager. <coughs> I had a, a spell there, um, roommates with George Best, it was absolutely fantastic. And uh, from there, um, unfortunately, the wife's father at the time he passed on, and we—I knew that Grimsby was sort of interested in me when I was at Stockport. Uh, made a phone call to George Kerr, and he said, oh, "I'd love to have you back, Churchy." And I, I, I couldn't wait to get back. If I couldn't get back to Grimsby, I don't think I'd have come back from America. But uh, I was that pleased and proud to come back to Grimsby. Always got a big spot in my heart. This place—it's fantastic. What's your most abiding memory of playing here? Playing here, um, <laughs> well I can remember playing against Crystal Palace uh, an evening match and um, I think we had to win to survive uh, from going down and um, I think Palace had to win to go up and in the end I think there was three of us got sent off, uh, myself, the centre half, I think it was somebody called Evans, um, the centre half and then Whittle eventually got sent off and I can remember Terry Venables having to usher me down the, uh, the dressing room tunnel to keep me away from him because I was just, <laughs> I'd lost the plot a bit. <laughs> you, you was a, a, say, a rugged defender, does that, um, does that describe you? Uh, well, on occasions if I needed to I could handle myself. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, oh, it was just it's a pleasure to play for Grimsby Town, it's fantastic to be back today, yeah, honestly, superb. I just hope um, they get promotion this year and uh, start building on things to come. What was it like playing under Laurie? Laurie, very strict. <laughs> I can remember the uh, the day uh, myself and Turner, it, it, we, we were authorised to go out for a meal and there was a place called the Fish and Chick just opposite the football ground. It was like a Canadian southern fried chicken sort of place. And I, the friend who owned it, we thought we'd go and have a bit of supper on a Sunday night. And uh, unknown to us, Laurie McMenemy was sat outside in his jag with his wife and he was fuming. But Monday morning we get to call <laughs> Jim Clooney, Churchman and Turner, Gaffer's office. Well, there was a game Tuesday night, we'd not been drinking, and we thought, oh, we're playing. So we get in the office and Big Laurie, six foot four, giant, he says, uh, what have you two lads got to say to me? So we both went, good morning, Gaffer, and he just launched at us. He was down <laughs> our throats and everything. My young pros, out on a Sunday night. And we said, Gaffer, you said we could go for a meal. We weren't drinking. He went, not good enough. I'm fine, you're a tenner, and we looked at each other and thought, five or each, that's not bad. And he went, each, and we were absolutely <laughs> devastated, tenner for a chicken and chips. <laughs> have, you, have you seen Laurie since? Uh, yeah, he was at a reunion a while back, and um, yeah, it was a good night, yeah. yeah. Everybody's got fond memories of him, haven't they? Mm. Um, they were the good old days, and what do you make of where Grimsby Town out at the minute? Um, it's a shame to see the club in the uh, situation they're in, but uh, hopefully, keep fingers crossed, and everybody seems to be working and pulling in the right direction, hopefully they'll uh, do it this year, and as I say, the footings are set, let's uh, see how we can build up again. Yeah, um, playing Lincoln City today, it's probably your kind of game. Oh yeah, you love that local battle, derby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can remember when I went to Scunthorpe and he was playing Scunthorpe and Grimsby, and it was, oh honestly, it's just... Just you get hyped up, and it's—I uh, don't know—it's just so special playing. You know, you 
your opposition are that so close and uh, yeah it'd be a good game I hope everybody enjoys it did you get to play against Kevin Keegan and uh, no I didn't actually play against Kevin Keegan no no but um, all memories are fond. Honestly, I really enjoyed the game. I mean, the game for me, it was all played for the love of football. I think, uh, personally, I think a lot of the finances is spoiling the game, the way it's gone. Can we ask how much you was in at that time? Um, <laughs> when I first came to Grimsby, uh, I was on about £25 a week. <laughs> but eventually, when I came back to Grimsby, I think I was on about £180 a week. Yeah. But as I say, it was not about the money, it was just your dream of playing the first division. Yeah. You just you enjoy the football, I mean, that was it. Did you get bonuses as well? When oh yeah, you got you got bonuses and that sort of thing, and appearance money. And, I mean, when Laurie was in charge, you got crowd money and everything. Like yeah. So, I mean, you, as you, you all know, the crowds were fantastic them days. <laughs>